Good morning, folks. Major tornado set up in the United States tonight. We're going to show you why. We hit news from outer space to below our feet, but we begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We're checking out the last 24 hours on our star, and there's not much happening as the dark coronal holes turn past center disk heliographic position. There are no major eruptions and no solar flares because the sunspot situation has not improved. Still just tiny spots without magnetic complexity. Best chance is not for those groups to get their acts together, but for new ones to crest or develop. We do see some bright umbral field activity equatorially at the limb. Solar wind definitively calming down. The small spike at the turn of the day UTC brought increased plasma penetration readings to European Rio meters, but in terms of the global magnetic field, a touch of instability and then back to calm and quiet. The next stream should arrive Saturday, and until then we have more potential for high activity beneath our feet. It began yesterday with twin volcano eruptions in the North Pacific, one in Kamchatka, the other being Bogoslav in Alaska. So we're heading out now to Jupiter, where a planned Europa mission is looking for input on lander instruments to include. Well, given the dearth of black and whites published in press releases for major recent missions, my number one on the list is a color camera. After that, a small LCD built into the outside that plays the scene from that movie telling us not to land on Europa. Just have it run back and play over and over while you're there. Lastly, squid bait. Popular references aside, this next story is all business and something that was almost certainly inspired by the revelations surrounding electric and magnetic fields generated by our ocean movements. You see, tsunamis have significant electron density profile action above the leading wave as it falls and on the reverberating waves. They note that electron densities change before the impact of a tsunami and anything that precedes devastation that gives itself away on satellites is well worth it. Okay, now, before we get into the major tornado threat in the U.S. tonight, we'll discuss these storms in general. The most powerful, to be exact, the ones that drive terrestrial gamma flashes. The upward effects have been well studied. The global electric circuit is largely involved in these processes, and they can be as critical to satellite operation as a space weather impact. But what about below the clouds? Well, now it is being measured with detailed accuracy, and previous hypotheses and studies are confirmed. The runaway cascade exceeds 100,000 volts propagating downward and spreading, along with the gamma rays. What matters here is that with cosmic rays on the rise, and especially with Earth's magnetic field weakening, extreme lightning will be more prevalent, and that goes for the downward cascade and gamma rays that come with them. Folks were pulling up the convective atmospheric potential energy on Null School because it had been confined to the Indian Ocean for quite some time at least the highest readings, but indeed, the most electro-meteorological danger in the world tonight is feeding a low-pressure earth spot convergence that slams hot, wet air from the Gulf of Mexico into highly static and charged flows out of the new valley of the sun. They will take the potential energy, and as they equalize their temperatures, moisture, pressure, and electric potential, EF4 and 5 tornadoes are definitely possible. We'll also quickly pull Europe because the same thing that happened yesterday is happening again today, pretty much to the same places in and near the UK, eyes on round two. Registration for Observing the Frontier 2018 has begun. Remember that if you sign up before July 15th, you could win a chance to get a free hotel stay for the conference, free website memberships, a bunch of other things as well, and that goes whether you sign up for VIP or general admission. We'll see you there. We've got the rest of the world's weather, null school storm genesis runs, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.